how is the family coping? We've had a lot of tragedy in our family, so we're kind of a, you know, we, we, we've dealt with a lot of tragedy. We're a big family. So how are you dealing? I mean, this, this tragedy seems like, I don't know, just bigger than most anyone has to deal with. Well, uh, this kind of a thing is happens to families in Mexico every day. In other words, maybe not on the same scale, but people are murdered, women, children in Mexico every day. Is that what you think an American audience might not be totally aware of because most times it doesn't happen to Americans? I think it happens to Americans too. I think it happens in the big cities and a lot of people get, get murdered. Well, I just mean in, within Mexico. Oh yeah, maybe, I don't know. I mean, uh, we, uh, we've had a lot of, a lot of, a uh, lot, a lot of violence in the last decade in, in Mexico. Why do you think that this happened? I mean, the government keeps seeming to push this line of mistaken identity. Do you buy that? Well, I, I, uh, we know for a fact that the people that fired on those women and children knew that they were women and children. There, there's almost no way that, uh, that there was no crossfire, they aimed directly at their vehicles. In other words, it wasn't two different uh, groups fighting each other. They aimed and fired at, at those three vehicles, and it was two separate incidents. And, uh, and in the first incidents, a car broke down where Donna uh, came upon Christina's vehicle that was broken down, and, and, uh, and, and I'm sorry, and, and Ronita, and, and, and Ronita asked Donna for a ride. So the people that shot at Ronita from up the hill, they saw women and children exchanging vehicles. When Ronita came back and got a vehicle from this driveway to, uh, to go and pick up her husband, right? So when Ronita was up the road, Donna and Christina were in two separate vehicles. They were further up the road. So what do you think all that means? I mean, to you, that tells you what? Well, that's the thing. We have no explanation for it. I mean, what kind of men opens fire on women and children because they knew they were women and children and why did they do it the only explanation that that uh people have put out there that that uh that's half logical is that the people that did it did it to provoke some kind of of a uh, reaction in other words uh, some kind of uh they, they use these people as bait of some kind for, for for some reaction that's the only thing we can understand because we haven't been threatened at least not in any way to suppose that uh women and children would be murdered i mean it came out of nowhere yeah it's just that it, it completely it uh it was it, 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 there was no way we could have ever predicted it i mean you guys live in a very violent area and yet you, you just didn't you know see this coming in the sense that you didn't get directly threatened the cartel no, we, we we've been around it for many many years in other the words cartel knows who, who you are yeah we, we 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 see the the armed people all the time and they kind of just leave us alone you know Changed. I don't know, and that's uh, exactly what we're demanding from the government. And uh, we want the truth. We want to know who did it, and we want to know why, and uh, we want them brought to justice. Do you, so you don't buy what the government's saying that it was a crossfire? Not, well, it's, or not a crossfire. I, I don't even think they know. In other words, I don't, they haven't even come to investigate. The first people that came on the uh, upon the bodies, the, the crime scene, was me. I'm the first person that arrived, and we had told the Mex the the. the state of Sonora's government and the state of Chihuahua that, um, that this had happened since 11 o'clock in the morning. We asked them for help. They never showed up. And uh, we asked the federal police to come with us and uh, we came on the crime scene before any authorities did. Are you guys angry? Are you guys angry? I think that right now we're just uh, just sad. I mean, just sober. We're, we're uh, just devastated. I mean, there's just beautiful women, beautiful mothers, just exemplary uh, people that that, uh, that were just murdered, you know? So the United States under President Trump, President Trump has said that it's time to wage all out war against the cartels and that the U.S. would lend assistance. Good idea, bad idea. What do you think of the President, President Lopez Obrador's strategy here? Well, I don't know, but um, I don't know about war against the cartels. But if, if we're offered help by the American government to bring the people responsible for this crime to justice, I think we're more than open to accept any help we can get. I mean, if, if uh, extraterrestrials came and offered us help, I think we would accept it at this point.